Serena, played by Katherine Russell, was last seen on the wards of Holby City just over a year ago, when the beloved character made a heartbreaking exit from the BBC medical drama. Away from the drama unraveling on screen, she reunited with the love of her life, Bernie, Gemma Redgrave, and the pair had been planning on getting married. However, it seems although they have tried hard to make their relationship work away from the most famous hospital on British television, they have not been able to rekindle the flame they once had. In Tuesday night's episode, they could announce to their colleagues they have decided to part ways. It was a surprise for viewers of the show on Monday when the program's official Twitter page shared a surprise comeback for Serena. With Bernie's return announced last week, fans were left wondering if her other half would show up as the show gets ready to air its final ever episode next month. In a short clip, both of the characters were seen walking the wards of Holby together as Serena got to visit her nephew, Jason Campbell, Jules Robertson. Everyone is in high spirits to see the beloved couple and talk soon turns to their wedding, which should have already taken place. As Jason sits in his hospital bed and asks about the big day, Sasha Levy, Bob Barrett, drops into the conversation but it's clear from Bernie's face everything is not well. Serena explains she and her other half are not yet married as questions about the proposal come in thick and fast from Sasha. The beloved character says they were not able to conduct their nuptials as the wedding venue had to change the dates. Although this seems like a legitimate excuse, it could be she is trying to hide the fact she and Bernie have called things off. Bernie could have come to Serena to Holby to try and keep up the facade so their colleagues did not ask too many questions about why her partner was not with her. However, as it becomes more difficult to discuss what their life together could have been like, the pair could gather their colleagues to explain they are no longer together. This would be heartbreaking for the team to hear and for viewers to digest as there has been a lot of support behind Barina, a combination of Serena and Bernie. When it was revealed a few years ago Bernie had died off-screen, fans were left in tears as this meant the end of the couple's chances of romance for good. However, when Bernie returned last year to confront her son Cameron Dunn, Nick Jackman, they were delighted the couple had reunited off-screen. With the show coming to an end next month, breaking up the characters could mean viewers will be left wondering if the pair would ever give their relationship another chance. As a door is possibly left open for a spin-off in the future, the whole B fan base could keep their spirits alive the program will not end completely. The actress who plays Bernie, Gemma, has spoken out on her return to the show and where her character's relationship stands with Serena. With the status of their romance still to be seen, the actress said, We all love a happy ending, don't we? I would like for them to have the future that viewers would wish for them, she explained in an interview with What to Watch. Gemma also delved into what it's been like returning to the program for several stints and what it was like to be a regular member of the cast. I don't think I expected it to be such a creative experience because of the pressure of making 52 episodes a year. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in these tenders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Emmerdale Farm? On what day did Hollyoaks air its first episode? 
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in EastEnders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air but I was given a lot of freedom to create and shape the character, Gemma continued. And the company of actors and standby artists on the AAU set, where most of my storylines were. Well, I loved them. So returning for the last episode was a no-brainer, she added, hinting Tuesday night's episode will be the last viewers see of her alter ego and Serena possibly. However, Serena could possibly stay on in Holby following the announcement of their split and begin a new chapter without her life partner. When the couple first got together back in 2016, there was a buzz amongst fans and the actress who plays Serena, Catherine has discussed the reaction to the pairing. The actress said, on my Twitter feed, people had been talking about this for months and referring to hashtag Barina. Almost from the very first moment Gemma and I were on screen together, people spotted it, right from the word go. I had messages, tweets and letters from fans all saying that they want us to get together and they really think it's brilliant. Lots and lots of great responses. So I hope that people would be delighted, she continued before adding what it was like to work with Gemma. Catherine told what to watch, oh, she's hilarious and we really have so much fun. It is such a delightful place to work, we all get on so well and it's a joy to have another woman of a certain age on set to play with.